Hello again, we're back here at Steinway Hall and I'm back with the, the new Spirio R. What I'd like to show you is uh, a little more detail uh, about the recording function again, and this time more about the changing the pitch element. You can change the pitch with regard to if you've made a mistake, uh, but also you can actually change the pitch if you were, say, accompanying somebody and you needed the piece to be played in a different pitch altogether. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press record here and, uh, and play a piece of music in. So I've been playing that piece for about 16 years and I think my scales are quite good. But um, when I bring it up on the screen, um, then um, it shows a different thing altogether. Let's bring that up on the screen and I shall press edit, a new composition. And, and here we go, here, here are my scales. So you can see they're far less than even. You can see how my, that my notes are going over each other's notes. So uh, the detail is quite uh, extraordinary. I've showed you already how I could actually shorten those notes. So I could obviously go in there and actually see how, how it ought to be played, I suppose. But um, right now I just want to show you the, the, the pitch of the note. So I can just go in here and press the note as before, bring up this sub menu. Uh, and here we have the pitch. So I press that and then I can just go plus and minus. Uh, and, and raise the note up and down. So if I've made a mistake, you can hit here and, and change that uh, very clearly. So if I go back to the beginning here, I think we'll probably hear a wrong note somewhere along the line here. There we go, that's the wrong note. So we can go back. Uh, and if I want to change it back again, of course, I can just change it back very quickly. So that's a very useful tool.